what, what would it take for you to believe in God? Well, I used to say uh, it would be very simple. It would be, uh, you know, the second coming of Jesus or, or a great big, deep, booming bass Paul Robeson voice so, um, uh, saying, I am God and, and, and I created. But I was persuaded mostly by actually uh, Steve Zara, who's a, who's a regular contributor to my website, richarddawkins.net, um, he, he more or less persuaded me that if you, if, even if there was this, this booming voice and the second coming in clouds of glory, the more probable explanation is that it's a hallucination or right. a right. conjuring trick by David Copperfield or right. something. Um, uh, I mean, he, he, he made the point that a supernatural explanation for anything is incoherent, right. that, that it do, just doesn't sort of... It, it, it doesn't add up to an explanation for, for anything. So what, would, what would persuade you? Well, I'm starting to think nothing would, uh, <laughs> which, which, is, which in, in a way goes against the grain because I've always paid lip service to the view that a scientist should change his mind when evidence is forthcoming. The trouble is I can't think what that evidence would look like. 